<laughs> oh, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. But this is why we're in such trouble. American generals, again, again, are warning that America's youth are getting too fat and stupid to join the military. Now, I want this to sink into your brain for a second, okay? Too stupid to join the military. Now, <laughs> keep this in mind now. The same military that had that toothless, meth head, Native American Nathan Phillips banging that fucking drum in that poor Cotting, uh, that Covington kid's face and, and claiming that he was being abused and oppressed and harassed. That fucking guy was in the military. That sub-100, 85 IQ moron was a fucking refrigerator repairman in the military. You have to be real fucking stupid not to be able to get in. I mean like Forrest Gump dumb. I mean like 83 fucking IQ dumb to not be able to get into the military. And yet... <laughs> The majority of Americans are ineligible for the military. Oh, my God. What's happening? So it organiza an organization comprised of hundreds of retired general officers is once again sounding the alarm on the state of America's youth. So Mission Readiness, which is a bipartisan organization of 750 retired generals and admirals, Okay, so these bitches know what they're talking about. These fucking guys, generals and admirals, they've risen to the highest levels of the fucking military. I think they know what they're talking about. Released its latest report last week detailing the dire straits facing military recruiters. Haven't I been talking about this? I've been talking about this for years. The goal of the left is both internally and externally to weaken the United States to such a point that we will be defeated both from within and then from without, or maybe just from within. But this is a perfect example of how weak and unconcerned and apathetic and stupid the majority of Americans are. And they're reaching a point where we will not in any way, shape, or form be able to defend ourselves. According to the report titled Unhealthy and Unprepared, an estimated 71% of all young people in the U.S. between the ages of 17 and 24 do not qualify for military service. 71%! Holy shit! Obesity disqualifies about 31% of youth. Wow. Now that's youth. You add another 20 years, they're going to be much fatter than they already are. Oh my God. So in North Carolina, an estimated 72% of the... Wow. Wow. Really? Really? Oh my God. In North Carolina, an estimated 72% of the population is ineligible. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's not even the Deep South. I mean, that's technically the South, even though the name is North Carolina. But, wow, I mean, can you imagine how bad it must be in South Carolina? Holy shit. Ineligible to join the military due to being overweight, lacking adequate education, or having a history of crime or drug abuse. So they're going to have to lower the standards. And they're going to have to continue to lower the standards to be able to have anybody to man the fucking walls and protect us. And it's going to reach such a point that uh, everybody in the military is going to be weak and stupid and we're not going to have enough people to man that fucking wall but of course we really don't have to worry about that because the real threat's inside because we're bringing in all these people by the millions who will just outbreed us and then take over via their vote and we're not going to stop that either because people have become too stupid to see that threat for what it is <sighs> wow the new report was unveiled, unveiled wednesday by a group of retired officers retired lieutenant general samuel ebison said mission readiness has been warning the country about the impact of obesity and stupidity <laughs> on, on, on a national security level for nearly a decade he said acting now to address the issue was critical to the nation's future defense and unlike ocasio cortez's proclamations of doom about the world ending in 12 years where there's no actual objective data to prove that there's actual proof for these claims is anybody saying anything beyond these people? We know that the military cannot solve this problem on its own, added retired Lieutenant General Thomas Spower. Children as young as two are experiencing rising obesity rates, and these rates increase with age. Well, yeah, if you eat too much, as you age, you'll get fatter. This demonstrates the need for obesity prevention. 
Why don't we just make food that isn't loaded with fucking corn syrup? It seems like every fucking thing we eat today is made of fucking corn syrup, i.e. sugar. Why don't we do that? Have natural foods and stop subsidizing the sugar industry to the tune of $20 billion a year. How about we do that? Oh, no. I don't think people realize, by the way, that corn syrup turns off the part of your brain that tells you you're satiated and to stop eating, so you just keep eating. Oh, no, let's not practice preventive maintenance. <sighs> Unhealthy and unprepared advocates for programs that promote healthy eating and physical activity, both at school and at home. Officials say healthy lifestyles must be encouraged early in life. Yeah, but again, there's also a chemical component to this. Again, most food is loaded with tons of sugar, tons of corn syrup, which affects your brain, chem brain chemistry. Corn syrup itself actually depresses the part of your brain that tells you to stop eating when you are full. So you just keep eating. So while, yes, we do need to encourage exercise and healthier eating, again, there's also a chemical aspect to this. It's almost, it's almost as if there's a plan to make people as fat as humanly possible. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost as if the goal is to make them in the sloths. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why we would want to make people into fat, lazy weaklings. It's a mystery. <laughs> the report paints a bleak picture of the state of the nation's youth and said the ineligibility of potential recruits was a large reason the Army failed to meet its recruitment goal last year. Wow. I mean, we're talking about, <laughs> can you imagine how dumb you have to be to not be able to get into the military? I mean, you got to be stupid. Now, I realize many of these cases are because of obesity, but there are also just as many that are because, actually more of the cases are due to lack of education, stupidity. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, does anybody out there still doubt that there's an agenda to dumb down the population? so that they can become nothing more than useful idiot tax chattel. Yet another example of how I'm right about that. Yeah, the, the state wants useful idiots. The state wants mindless automatons who'll just do what they're told, go to work, be productive to as much as possible from each according to their ability, <laughs> but not each according to their need. <laughs> yeah, because then, of course, nobody would be incentivized to do anything which is really what happens anyway just a little more slowly as we saw in the soviet model anyway <sighs> yeah the report notes that of the remaining 29 percent of eligible youth only 17 percent would qualify for active duty <laughs> and only 13 percent would achieve a satisfactory score on the armed forces qualification test i once took this thing online just as a larp uh, just to see how I do. I think I scored like a 96 or something. As fab or something like that. I think that's like really fucking high. It's, it's not like a 96 or 98 or something. It, it <laughs> but it was an easy test. I mean, it wasn't difficult at all. I mean, there was no studying. I just saw it online. It was like, see how smart you are. Are you smart enough to rank well on the military hierarchy of people taking this test? Eh, taking on a LARP just for fun. <laughs> wasn't that difficult. <laughs> But apparently, some people are on par with Far Forrest Gumper's uh, buddy Bubba, which is what Bubba Gump Shrimp was named for. So, yeah, I guess for those people, yeah, the ASFAB is going to be challenging. Is that what it was called? It's called something different now. Uh, this was a while ago. Yeah. And while the recruitable population declines, so too is interest in military service. Well, of course. Americans aren't patriotic anymore, let alone nationalistic. They don't care about their country. Most youth hate America. Now, I have heard that young people coming up now who are 18 and below, more and more of them are becoming conservatives, which would make sense because whenever you have the pendulum swing too much one way, there's always a correction at some point, eventually, to move things back to balance. So that would make sense, but I think it might be too little too late, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so last year, just 11% of 16 to 24-year-olds said they would definitely or probably serve in the military in the coming years. That is down from 13% in 2016. Wow. I mean, it, it's dropping a lot year by year. Good Lord. So, yeah. The barbarians are not at the gates, folks, okay? I just saw 
a fucking video from a Western country of some Muslim. And you could tell he was a Muslim because of the way he was dressed and he was yelling, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, as he hammered away with a chisel and hammer at a statue of the Virgin Mary in the wonderful, beautiful country that was helping him as a political refugee. Yeah, yeah, he was so grateful to his host country that took him in and gave him housing and gave him welfare and displaced its own citizens to help him that he was destroying local art that was like hundreds and hundreds of years old. Because, you know, my ideology of Islam teaches me there's no God other than Allah. And now this is my country, motherfucker. I'm in here and I'm not going anywhere. And I'm going to destroy every form of art because I'm not really a political refugee. I am an invader, bitches. And you invited me in. And now I'm going to fuck you in the ass and destroy your country. Yeah. Because that's really all this is, right? So the, the barbarians are not at the gates. They're in the fucking city. They're sacking Rome as we speak. And you pinheads out there, you pinhead morons are letting them in. And don't tell me that that fucking Notre Dame was some kind of accident. Oh, we don't know, but we suspect it. It might have, maybe, could have, perhaps was a spark from something that didn't take light until after we closed the place. Yeah, the spark just sat there and smoldered in some old wood. Maybe. We don't know, really, but we're speculating. <laughs> we're pulling shit out of our ass so that we don't really have to look any deeper and find out that it was arson. And now we got the fucking uh, people in uh, France talking about how they're going to rebuild the spire of Notre Dame and maybe, maybe include some Muslim Islamic imagery and architecture in it. Yeah, right. Because thousand-year-old buildings that were 100% Christian in nature, they now need to have Islamic architecture and Islamic symbols put into them, right? to placate the barbarians that you pinheads let into your fucking country. Yeah. <laughs> if that's not a perfect example of them taking over, I don't know what is. So, yeah, what do you think? What do you think about the stupidity of the most recent and youngest generation in the West? Because this is worldwide. It's throughout Europe. It's not just America where the population has become so dumbed down and so fat that the majority of them can't serve in the military. It's the entirety of Europe. Is this a problem? Do you think this is a problem? Have you seen examples of the stupidity of your own country citizens, especially the young people? I think it's, uh, it's a travesty that the youth, and this is purposeful, by the way, if you think this is some kind of accident that the entire Western world has dropped one standard deviation in the past 120 years or so, and that that's just <laughs> unexplainable. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It's just some kind of random occurrence. If you think that it's just some kind of random occurrence and just some kind of fucking accident, you're a moron too. <laughs> and you're putting that on display for everybody to see by proclaiming that you think it's just some kind of random accident. No, it's quite purposeful on behalf of the global elites to dumb down everybody, okay? So they can more easily take over by importing ever more low IQ, moron useful idiots who they can directly control by those people's dependency on the state. Because yeah, our, our local population are still too smart and they're still too self-reliant. We need to bring in more low IQ morons who rely on us. And then they'll destroy the country from within, and then we'll have ever more power over them. And then eventually everybody will serve us. And we can much more easily then usher in a global utopia with no borders and one world government. Yeah. A utopia that's never existed, by the way. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, we're going to build this thing that's never existed. Well, wh where's your blueprint? We're kind of sort of just socially experimenting in country after country like Venezuela and Cambodia and Cuba. Those didn't work out, but we got some good ideas of what might work. Yeah, <laughs> more than 100 countries they've tried this shit in, this communist socialist bullshit, and it hasn't worked. And every time it doesn't work, they just say, well, that wasn't real socialism. What is, bitch? You have tried it 100 fucking times. It hasn't worked. You have no examples of what you call real socialism. Show me one example where this shit has worked. Oh, well, what about the Nordic countries? They're not socialist, you idiots. I love how people just think because we're using the word social that that's socialism. Well, those countries have a lot of social programs. It's called welfare, bitches. 
Just because they have healthy, robust, they're not healthy, by the way, but just because they have robust welfare programs, that doesn't make them socialist countries. Socialist means the government controlling the ways and means of production. You had the fucking president of what was it, Finland? Telling Bernie to shut the fuck up. He didn't know what he's talking about. Stop calling our country a socialist country. We're a market economy, you moron. That's why we have so much money that we do to put into all these fucking social welfare programs, you idiot. If we weren't the fucking market economy, we wouldn't be able to have these robust social fucking welfare programs. Stop trying to associate social welfare programs with socialism, you pinhead. <laughs> and that's what they try to do, right? They try to disingenuinely conflate welfare, social welfare with actual socialism and say, look, those countries, those countries are very successful and they have very successful social welfare programs. And those are examples of social countries, socialist countries. You see, it works there. It doesn't work in Venezuela, which is an actual socialist country that tried to control the ways and means of production and introduced all these fucking price controls and took over the oil industry and every other fucking industry and tanked the fucking country. Oh, but they don't use that as an example because that's actual socialism. No, uh, they just want to rely on your ignorance, okay? to try and promote socialism by saying, oh, that's real socialism, but it's not. But most people are too stupid to know that. As this fucking article points out, people are getting so dumb, they can't even serve in the military. Okay, here's a gun, pull trigger, shoot that guy. Could you repeat that? I'm too fucking stupid to understand the series of events. Pick gun, do I pull the trigger first? Or do I aim first? Oh God. 